Cups finally after CES in Las yes, Vegas. Yes, yes, long time ago. Then the Berkeley Law School. Thank you for supporting the Berkeley Law School, by the way, very much. So. Yeah, you can't say that on camera, man. I'll get in trouble if I go back to Oh, no. Way. No, it's all good. <laughs> Not, right. It's always good to support a hometown, you know, local college. Um, it was a great event, so I was happy to be a part of it. And your thoughts on the best running backs coming out of your view? Uh, really, you know, I really like Ezekiel Elliott. I like Devontae Booker. I think those two guys are my 1A, 1B. Um, I, I know a lot of people, it's funny, a lot of people had Booker at three or four, but when you really study his tape and watch his tape, he does the exact same thing Elliott does, but without the talent. Um, Utah is known for their defense more than they are offense, but with this young man, they were able to boost their game up to be the number one team in the country when he gets hurt. They kind of go and they lose a little bit uh, the next couple of games. And so, for me, I think these two guys, what makes them special, they can do it all. Mm -hmm. They can run the ball inside, outside. They're good in open field. They can block. They're willing to block. Uh, they can catch the ball well. They both return the kicks. I mean, so when you can get a guy that's that valuable, you can put them in different areas to be explosive to help your team. And I think that's what makes these guys special. Um, I like I like Derrick Henry a lot. I just think he has to go in the right system, and that's what knocks him down a little bit. And you can't put him in every system. He has to be in the, the, the right system with the right coach, with the right mindset for him to be successful. Um, you know, you go down to Kenyon Drake, uh, CJ Prosize, Paul Perkins, those guys. I think they do a great job. I think Urban out of San Jose State is a really good running back. Um, just didn't play against the highest competition. That's going to knock him down a little bit. But his game does translate to the NFL. What he's able to do, runs inside, outside, ran well. He's a bigger than what you thought kind of guy. So um, there's a lot of guys. Kenneth Dixon, I think, is a really good guy, too. A really good receiving. Uh, back, so you, I mean, I think there's all these running backs have something special to them. Mm -hmm. The reason I have those two guys, one A, one B, is because they can go to any team and be successful. The rest of these guys have to go to the right team to be successful. On that note, Trent uh, Richardson, I always thought had tremendous talent, but is it a question of the right system or something else? That I mean, he has to open his eyes. Hmm. I think I think one of his big issues is he comes from Alabama where you don't have to. Same thing with what happens with Wisconsin running backs. Mm -hmm. They go, they run through these gaping holes all the time, and they get accustomed to it. It ends up being a downfall because when you go to college, when you go to the pros, those holes aren't that big. Mm -hmm. And so now you have to learn how to set up the holes. You have to learn how to press and cut and do all these different things. And so I think you saw the same thing with Melvin Gordon. Right. right. Um, and you'll see that a lot. And, and I think with him, he just never, no one really stuck with him and taught him. He never had someone to teach him how to do these things. They just expect him to know it because he was the number three overall pick. So uh, hopefully, you know, this, this stint with the, the Ravens helps out and gives this, you know, because this, this is his last chance. And hopefully he does a really good job and he takes it seriously. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate no problem. It.